what's up guys clickwood here back again bringing you guys another madden 16 video guys today what we are going to be talking about is the madden 16 title update number one which is now available to be downloaded here on the playstation 4 and the xbox one guys this is going to be hopefully a great thing and uh, I'm really excited about it. So what you guys are going to be watching in the background is some Draft Champions gameplay. Just a couple of games that I played. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy that. We did get that user pick on the first play. So I felt pretty good about that one. But here's the deal, guys. The gameplay updates here are, I think, going to be big improvements from what we had in previous versions of this game so far. So, you know, obviously there were some issues that were pretty apparent, and hopefully everybody was aware of, uh, of those at least. You know, things like guys randomly jumping off sides, which has apparently been improved and made so that that doesn't happen. Guys would just randomly walk off sides after the huddle broke. And, I mean, occasionally they would just walk off sides completely randomly. And it's not like they were jumping on the defense. They were just standing up and walking into the offensive linemen. So, apparently that's been fixed. Let me know, guys, in the comment section below if that's still happening to you. It hasn't happened to me, but I'd like to hear what you guys have to say about that. Um, another thing that was improved from the gameplay standpoint is that there were a couple issues where guys would apparently go up for catches. A lot of times, I'm assuming it was on aggressive catches, and they would hit the ground. No defender would touch them, but they'd be ruled down. Kind of like if it was college football, they would actually be ruled down without contact. That apparently has been fixed, so that's a nice improvement. And then the other thing that they said here was that it addressed quarterback locomotion warps on certain dropbacks. Now, I don't know what that means. I'm assuming that it has to do with, like, somehow the player would get into, like, a, a warp where he would just continue to drop back and drop back and drop back and drop back or something. I don't know. I've never seen that. If you guys have, if you have an example of it, if you could leave it in the comment section below, I'd love to see an example of that. Because, like I said, I don't think I've ever seen that one. But those are the main gameplay improvements. Now, what's notably missing here <laughs> is uh, aggressive catching has not been changed. Now, I understand that they did make a small update this past week that apparently addressed wide receiver DB interactions. And apparently, from according to some people anyway, there has been some sort of improvements in terms of the actual interaction between those two things. So when a guy goes up for an aggressive catch and a defender's hitting him, he doesn't catch it quite as often. But I haven't noticed it. Uh, and <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just complain too much. I don't know. But I do know that it feels to me like aggressive catching is still way, way overpowered. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think specifically about aggressive catching because I think this is the main one to me that needed to be fixed. I mean, you fix that and you really change the gameplay a lot to the point where it's not just people stepping back and throwing it deep every single play like there pretty much is when you play online right now. It's, it's pretty frustrating to play online, especially if somebody has a Herman Moore, a Brian Finner, and a Calvin Johnson, something like that. It's just so ridiculously difficult to defend that, that type of player. So... Those, like I said, were the main gameplay updates. And guys, I apologize, by the way, if it sounds like I'm a little bit congested. My nose, for some reason, has been running like crazy. It's almost fall here in Minnesota, so the, the weather's changing, which is giving me some allergies. Hopefully, we get through this, though. Uh, all right, some other improvements that they made here. Connected franchise. They addressed an issue where players would receive 100 confidence or over 100 confidence, resulting in a short-term attribute boost. And uh, apparently that was a big one. I haven't actually played connected franchise in this game, but I heard that from multiple people that that was a huge, huge issue. And guys were just like fluctuating in their overalls, like really significantly from play to play, even if not even from game to game. Uh, another thing, they improved regression tuning for the offensive linemen. Now, I don't really know what that means. I'm assuming that that means that guys were getting worse over the course of the year, like their overall attribute or their individual specific attributes were dropping over the course of a year or over the course of their careers. I'm not exactly sure what that one is, but that's kind of what it sounds like for me. So that's actually good because, you know, obviously offensive linemen in this year's game are actually somewhat important for once. So hopefully that is something that is a major improvement for you guys that play Connected Franchise. They did also tune the rookie deep accuracy rating, which I don't really know what that means. I'm assuming that that means that all the rookies that were coming in had terrible deep accuracy or really, really good deep accuracy. 
Not sure specifically. Again, I, you guys will have to let me know in the comment section below because I really don't play Connected Franchise. They also did uh, an improvement to Super Sim stats where the pocket quarterbacks were generating too many rushing attempts. So I guess like if you were to just simulate all your games, you're even like a quarterback like Peyton Manning would run the ball like 10 times or something like that, which is obviously completely unrealistic unreal if you're talking about a quarterback like Peyton Manning. Uh, they also did some other minor improvements. They uh, changed it so that some some top free agents would uh you know not go for a low amount and um also guys would disappear from the free agency pool and you know stuff like that i think is is an obvious improvement for the game they did also make it in madden ultimate team where apparently the pictures are going to show up now for all players so that's good um and then they changed some minor stuff like some minor crashes and things like that that uh were happening in the game so that's kind of a quick rundown of the updates here hopefully you guys are seeing some major improvements let me know in the comment section below if you are or if you aren't or if they missed something like aggressive catching or something else that should have been in this tuning update let me know in the comment section below thank you guys hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did please be sure to hit the like button and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new i'll be bringing you guys some more draft champions here in the next couple of days i hope i've been having a lot of fun playing that and just kind of getting some practice in so hopefully you guys are going to enjoy the gameplay but thank you guys so much hope you enjoyed it talk to you next time bye guys